everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. For today's video, I wanna share with you our bug out bags. I did have a request from a bunch of you guys that wanted me to share what we have on hand. So I'm going to go over our prepper pantry with you. I usually do that once a month and kind of share with you what I add and the groceries that I get to add to that. Um, so I wanna tie in our bug out bags to our pantry because we usually do all of that together. But right, if you are new here, I am a homeschool mom of 10. I have eight kids in the house and we do some food prepping. We also just started with canning food about a year or two ago. And then also we raise animals here for our own meat and eggs and stuff like that. So we do a lot of that on our channel and I share just how we raise our kids in a garage. So if you're interested and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider to do that. A lot of you that already follow me already know what we do around here. We do a lot of grocery hauls and share a lot of food stuff with you guys. So if you guys enjoy any of that, just subscribe, hit that red subscribe button, and that would be greatly appreciated. I took you guys out into our prepper pantry. Usually in our pantry, I share all the food that I have in here. I do have my last grocery haul items that I have in a box right here, and I'm going to add them to our shelves today. I'm not gonna go through everything that I have in our pantry. I'm just gonna go over a little bit of stuff for things that would you would use for a prepper pantry. Follow our channel. I share a lot about what's in our prepper pantry. So I will leave the list down below and you guys can go check out some of them and then you can kind of see what we all have in here. But for today's video, I'm going to unbag my husband's bug out bag. So I have everything in here. I do have another bug out bag that is going to be shared in another video just because this video is going to be too long for me to share the other one. If you guys are interested in wanting to know what is in the other bug out bag, let me know in the comments down below and I will share that in another video. But first I'm going to start out with two products that I want to share with you. And these are things that are good to have in a prepper pantry. If you guys don't do any canning or dehydrating of food, then this is a way of doing it. It's a little bit more expensive, um, but if you want to go this route, this is gonna be a little bit easier for you guys, especially if you are women and you're building a prepper pantry. These are things that you can have on hand. Amazon sells a lot of it also. So one of the things that I just recently shared with you guys are these adventure meals. Some of these have high pro protein content and these are things that you're going to want to have in your prepper pantry. I will leave links for this down below and you guys can purchase these. I also have a bunch of meal buckets. So this one is a 48 hour emergency food source bucket. This is a complete meal. So they, okay, so this is a four person kit, five meal variety. That is what is in this one. Um, this is just stuff that we have on here because of putting up our pantry. So that one kind of got a little dirty, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these buckets in our upper part of our pantry. When I did my last grocery haul, I picked up some items that I'm going to be adding to our pantry. These are the items that I got this month. So we have some SpaghettiOs. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cans of SpaghettiOs. This is the pantry that we store that in. We store our pizza sauce, our spaghetti sauce, and I have four jars of that off to the side here. And then I also have two jars of Alfredo sauce. I have our caramel syrup that we store in here. And this one is our taco sauce. Um, we have a pesto sauce that I got this month, and then I have our dressing that I got this month. Some of the things that we add to our pantry is our sauces, our ketchup, our syrup, our soy sauce. We have a medicine little thing over here, so we have our pharmacy off to the side. And then we have our peanut butter, our jellies. We store a lot of protein and uh, meat in cans in this area. And I have a lot of that off to the side, but like I said, I'm not gonna go through all of that in today's video. All right, so one of the things that he has in his bag is this radio. 
So he has this radio called a Bao Fang ham radio. So we also have these little radios right here. These are called Mer radios. So these can be used for different things. Um, you don't need to have these, but if you are um, just starting out, these are things that you can get later. All right. So another thing that is in my husband's uh, bug out bag is a gun. Trigger guard just pops off just like this. Two different examples that you can use for a trigger guard. In the front of his bag, he has little straps that are on here. You can carry things on here if you need to, like blankets and jackets. He also has clips on here and you can use that for setting up different things. And I will go over that in a minute when I pull out some of this stuff. In this side zipper right here, I think this is the only thing he has in there. A lock picking kit. This just helps you practice on picking locks. If you need to pick locks, this is just an emergency thing. This isn't something that you necessarily need to have. Next side pocket. He has Harper medicine in here, just in case. He also has paracord in here, just little ones. You can use this for multiple things. You also can burn it if you need to. He also has little tools that you can bring along if you need to use them. Um, eyeglass kit, metal cutter, and you can use this if you need to cut metal. All right, another thing that I wanna point out before I get started with any more, we live in Wisconsin, so we have all different types of weather around here, depending on if it's winter, spring, fall, whatever it could be. We have a lot of stuff in the bag for them seasons. So some of this stuff isn't going to make sense for certain times, but we still want to keep it in our bag. All right. One of the things he has in the side pocket is one of these masks. These can be used if there are, um, we had one year where the mosquitoes were absolutely terrible out by us. And these are things that we would wear or if it's cold outside or whatever, you want to have something like this in your bag. We also have some gloves in our bag. So he has this little thing that Velcro's inside this top pocket. He has a magazine in there. He has a pen and a lighter. He also has a knife in there, some extra batteries. This one is just a regular mask that you can use or a gator. more batteries and then some energy bars and that's everything in this top zipper main compartment of this bag we have a first aid kit some scissors some tylenol uh epi pen uh stop bleeding fast a tourniquet we have gauze floss gloves Um, he also has a toothbrush in here, some Clorox wipes, and let's see what else. More wipes and bandages. A body warmer or hand warmer. We have an emergency blanket. This can be used for multiple things as in putting it in your car in case of an emergency and then it reflects things. It also is waterproof, windproof, and reusable. He also has a flare in there. These are red flares, Chemlite. He has a warming vest in the bag. He has a set of binoculars in there. He has a poncho. A poncho can be used for multiple things. This is one of the things he told me and I wouldn't have thought of it, but you can use this as a tent. And then mango, if you are diabetic or anything and you need to have some kind of sugary thing in your bag. We have paracord and you can use that for tents or anything that you need to tie up and use. Um, some extra wipes. And then he has this extra piece in here. 
And I think he got these off of Timu also. We have more flares in here. We also have a water purifier. All right, so on here, he also has a green light. He has another blanket in there and then a pen and another knife in, in here. In the side pocket over on this side, he has a set of gloves. We also have some rubber gloves. And then we also have a headlight. We use these a lot around here. So we have a couple of these. Um, he also has a clip in here I wanna share with you. He just shared this with me. All right, so if you ever have seen any clips like this before, a lot of men and different people will put some paracords on here. Paracords can be taken apart and used for multiple things. But when you unclip this one, inside here it has a handcuff key, if you can see right there. A little cup can um, pop open. All right, so he has these little um, kits that he put together and I just asked him where he got these from. These are from County Com. I will leave their website down below and you guys can go and check out some of that stuff. Um, but inside here is Q-tips, fingernail cutters, um, and tweezers. Also in here, he has some caffeine gum in here. So he also has pads in the bag just because you can use these for other things. Um, so yes, it's used for bleeding, but also if you have a wound or anything, you can also use these. I know a lot of times too, they have mentioned that you can store tampons and stuff in your bags also, because if you pull the inner part out, you can also use that for um, blood issues and stuff too thing with the tampon thing too if you have on hand and you don't have anything to start a fire you can also use that for starting a fire one of these blades if you need to cut anything or use anything with that or if you have a wound and you need to cut things at them at the moment um he also has another knife in here all right, another thing that is in his bag is zip ties. With the zip ties, you can use the um, poncho if you need to build your tent. Also, you can use the paracord to help with that, but these are good for multiple uses if you do backpacking or if you go hiking and you need things to have on hand just in case of different emergencies. For us, this is our prepper bag for just things. He brings this to like work and different things, and if he needs anything, he has a lot of that on hand. Another thing with us living in Wisconsin, we never know what we're going to need if we have snowstorms and stuff. So a lot of times we like to have a lot of this on hand with us. He has some napkins. Um, usually stuff like this would probably be in like a bag or a zip up bag. And then some wipes. He also has a lot. He also has a lot of pens in here, markers. Another thing is some electrical tape. And then he has charging cords. We also have a battery pack that we use um, and make sure you have it charged before you go anywhere so that it is able to be used for charging your phone. So that is everything that I wanted to share with you in this bag. If you guys want me to share the other bag, leave me a comment and I will share that with you in another video. But if you guys have any questions on today's video or anything that we do as for food prep or for doing emergency prepping with bug out bags, leave that comment down below and I will answer the best that I can. But that is it for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.